Or it's maybe I bound it as well. Oh fuck. Fuck, did he get me? Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? Actually, do we ever find them? <laughs> do they ever find them? They can't now. I don't they know. Can't do. I don't know. Were you over the... where were you when you died? Because I can see a... I think I found him actually. Oh yeah. I accidentally switched on the... wing smoke, acrobatic, aerobatic smoke, and that guy was like, hey. <laughs> like, yeah, I mean, thanks. That's enough for doing that. How? How? How do you hit him? He uh, says it to me and I just shot him when he crossed my nose. Fuck. Hey folks, welcome back to War Thunder. So today we're looking at the Mirage 3 for the first time. This is sort of a first impressions video, but I'm also going to try and uh, kill multiple birds with the same stone. Because I had someone in the comments recently ask me about radar. And I killed a guy in this video who said he wanted to be in it. So we're gonna sort of combine the two. So let's just get into the the action of it all and we'll talk about the Mirage in a, in a clip in a little bit. So destroy the enemy surveillance aircraft at E5. For me, radar is less about helping me find things and more about helping me ID the things that I've visually acquired myself anyway. Part of visually acquiring stuff anyway involves looking at those map callouts, like when it tells you there's an objective, and then looking at the map to see where that is, orientating yourself towards it, and that's when you start looking at the radar. So right now I can see the surveillance aircraft that the objective told me about. So I'm just looking at the radar to see what it'll find. I'm narrowing the scan, because if you narrow the scan it sort of thins the cone of radar beams that you're sending out, and the, the less um, the, the, the thinner the scan is, the less likely you are to get interference from ground clear, which will stop your uh, scan from picking anything up. So right now I can see the I can see three specs. The middle one, the one that the gun crosshair is closest to, I know is the surveillance aircraft. There's a friendly that's going for a gun run on it and he missed. There's another one that the radar confirmed to me as enemy. So I now know, thanks to the radar, that this is the fighter, this is the threat. Surveillance th um, aircraft is an AI, so although it'll come up as enemy, I now don't have to worry about it. Um, friendly's come up as two dashes rather than one. So I know that the friendly was the friendly and then I know this is an enemy, and now that I've got within 900 meters, there's no enemy name tag that's popped on it, which just further confirms. And then he just straightens out and flies in a straight line. It's almost like he knew. I actually wonder, because in chat, he basically was like, oh, I hope I'm in the video. <laughs> I, I wonder if he just knew it was me somehow and decided to let me kill him so that he could... I, I don't know what I don't know what that was either. That was like a, 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 a recording issue. But anyway, so it was a pretty brief rundown on the on the radar. But here we'll go again. So I'm using it on a thin scan right now. Narrowing the scan means that if you are looking directly at something that you want to ID, you have a higher chance of finding it because there's less chance of there being ground clear interference because you're sort of thinning the cone if you like. But if you have it on a wide scan then it means you're more likely to pick up stuff that you might not have seen. So um, if, you're, if you're just sort of aimlessly flying around and you're hoping that the radar might find something for you, put it on the wide scan. If you found something yourself with your eyes and you want to check whether it's enemy or not, use it on a narrow scan and just point directly at it. And if you know that this, there should be something appearing on the radar because you can see it, but it isn't there yet, cycle through the ranges, and if it's not working then, 
uh, change through the scan patterns anyway because sometimes it might just like refresh the game code or some bullshit to make it work because you know it's War Thunder and everything's a bit dodgy. I don't think radar implementation is really as good as it needs to be right now but it is a huge step forward to have them implemented in the cockpits like this even though it is a little bit annoying having to look down all the time and especially if you don't have head tracking I remember that being one Right, being able to look at the radar easily, one of the best, uh, biggest highlights of getting hand tracking for me. So this is actually an operations match on Balloon Samir, which means that there's a fuckload of uh, AI bombers, and that's why I'm here because I, since um, there's been a bit of a controversial thing with the PlayStation and PC account linkage re lately, because I I started the game on PS4, so my account is a PS4 account. Um, but recently, because of the cross-play issues and Sony being fuckheads, um, they've basically managed that they've they've changed things so that I can no longer spend money on War Thunder through my account on a PC. I have to do it all through the PS4, and I don't ever touch my PS4 anymore because why would I? I've got a PC now, so I can't gold mods or do anything. I think premium time still works. My I've got about years left anyway. But um, I would have golded my work to missiles otherwise, but I'm having to actually do the star grind for once without spending money, and it's terrible. So up to now I've got the M9Bs and that is literally it, I have no performance mods whatsoever. But anyway, so right now I can, I've visually acquired the bombers that are up ahead of me on the uh, right side slightly, so I'm just cutting left to get them out in my right side window when I roll back over. I'm just sort of adjusting my head tracking as I go. Because I was on the phone to my brother and I had one ear on, out of my headphones so I kind of threw everything off a bit. So the bombers are down there, look over the dark coloured field. My aim in this game is entirely to just get RP, so I'm farming, I'm just going to farm bombers. And, and I, it's not the most exciting thing to watch, but it helps me get my eye in with the guns, and if anything comes to try and kill me, I'll deal with it as and when it happens. I've got very high ping, um, or actually I doubt it in this game. I did have high ping on and off, but for some reason I'm having audio desync issues where sometimes the guns fire and the audio and the visuals don't quite line up. But I've, I've, I've adjusted it as best that I can, but it seems to get worse the further through the video it is, so I might have missed a few bits. But anyway, so as you're watching me just murder these bombers in the background, I figure that's the best time to actually talk about the Mirage. Um, it's not quite as good as I wanted it to be. The thrust away is utterly terrible. I know that it's stock so it'll probably get a lot better but it turns really well really nicely it's incredibly stable and smooth like you feel like you can pull as hard as you want and you're never going to get it to wing stall which is basically what you'd expect from a Della wing but the speed bleed is so much worse than I thought it would be coupled with the utterly terrible engine performance which, like I say, might get better with mods, but I've been caught in dives by like 9-0s, like save, just regular sabers. And I feel like that shouldn't be possible even with a stock Mirage. It has um, stability modes like the Phantoms do, which um, very heavily limits the amount of AOA that you can pull. Um, so that it stops your energy bleed from being quite as terrible because you can't pull into that zone where you're basically forcing a stall. It stops you from pulling so much that your wings just become an air brake. But you still slow down a fuckload. And also because of how much it limits your AOA, it's actually quite... I, I nearly died a few times because obviously I'm grinding. Um, I was doing quite a lot of ground strike, hitting vehicles and howitzers and pillboxes and stuff. And if you come in from too steep an angle and you have the stability mode on, it limits your AOA so much that it's actually difficult to pull out. So if you don't time things right and you go in a bit too quick, you will just lawn dart into the ground. So if you're going to be ground striking, 
stability mode is really nice for keeping things precise so you can line up on stuff and get really good accuracy on your shots but if you're going to pull out the dive afterwards you're going to want to flick it back to manual or just practice on manual anyway and fuck the stability mode off because I don't actually think you need it with this plane it's not like the Phantom where it's uh, in an insufferable brick without it but um, I've been flying around and engaging AI with uh, stability mode and uh, well I'm, I'm still experimenting it's early days We'll see how it goes. The, the flight model will probably get updated at some point as well anyway, so what I say now might be utterly irrelevant in like a month or, or less, who knows, but yeah, just to play it by ear and try it for yourself, because I like how it flies more with stability mode on, but I don't like how it limits my like performance maximum. So here an F4 has come in and on my right, he actually fired a missile at me somehow, um, so it's on now. I know I can turn better than an F4, but he can definitely pile the energy on quicker, so if he gets me low energy, I'm probably fucked. But if I get him low energy, I can manoeuvre way better, way more stably, and I should be able to stay behind him perfectly fine. So I'm basically turning into him. That's all I'm aiming to do right now. I'm just turning into him until he gets sick of it and starts turn firing with me, because if he does that, I've won. I'm going to try for a long missile shot, I think. Or maybe I don't. I'm trying to... I, I Spoiler alert, I do end up getting it with a missile, and like I said, they are AIM-9Bs. But... It's not without a bit of a turny wurny fight first. So... This is where the uh, dynamics of dogfighting get a bit complicated, because... If I were in F4 and I was fighting a Mirage, I would never go vertical like that because he doesn't know that I don't have those OP as fuck magic missiles. And if I had, he would be dead already. But, it, you know, luckily I didn't have the, uh, the OP missiles. Um, and if he had gone vertical, going vertical is actually basically the easiest way of getting away from me because being stark, my vertical performance is utterly dog shit. No idea how I didn't hit him there. This guy's actually quite impressing me with how he's um, recovering from these flat spins. But we had a brief, nice scissor there. That's probably the best dog fight that I've actually had. And then he extends away and he isn't paying attention. He rolls. I thought he was going to reverse his turn. Um, which would have helped my missile, but he actually carried on the same way and, and somehow managed to still get him anyway. But the rest of the video is going to be live comms with me and Zydrich, and we're just going to be talking about the plane in general. You should maybe pick up some bits and bobs, and I get two kills. I've left this bit in because at altitude, even stock, this thing can super cruise. I'm at 100% throttle, 101% throttle, I'm at 6,000 meters, and I'm sustaining Mac no problem whatsoever. I think I have it up to Mach 1.04 at one point with uh, dry thrust. So I'm very eagerly anticipating how much better it will be with the performance mods, but it's going to be a while before I get there because tomorrow I'm actually going away for another two weeks. So this is probably going to be the last video that you see from me. Um, but anyway, we're going to cut to the live comms now, so I hope you enjoy the video. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah, that fucking gun ammo. I tried to do gun run on the uh, convoy. I can't see shit in this. I I've climbed up to altitude to give me some like safe space, and I wanted to test the fuel consumption, which is so bad with the afterburner on. By the way, I had yeah. I, I had forty five minutes, and I afterburnered up to like five k, and it used fifteen minutes of fuel just to get me up there. This has been a pretty bad match for me. Moscow. I usually with this many players in the session, I'll get like 15 kills by now. <laughs> How is the mech now with the missile buff? How is the what? The missile buff for the R60s. Yeah, the 30G now. <laughs> it feels like they uh, miss a lot more now, actually. Really? That's weird. It's 30G's, Mac 2.5. 2.5? No way, that's the fucking truth.
<laughs> These are slower than the sidewinders, man. They're, they're slower than the sidewinders, no way. Like, I, I missed a target that was flying at 1.8 kilometers on the radar scale. <laughs> it was flying straight. And it, 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 was just a, it was just a fan, it was flying Mach 1 as well. I yeah, I want any uh, found a target. But I don't know what it is. Yeah, I'm gonna just uh, take S S twenty fours and ground strike. I want to actually use S twenty fours for ground striking this time, but I, I usually don't. Basil, seriously, fuck off. Why do cats always have to fucking butt in at the worst imaginable fucking time? An anti cat barrier. My crew for the Mirage is absolute dog shit. What is that? What the fuck is that? There's a saber like holding with me. I might actually die to a fucking saber. Yeah, when, when people form uh, formation on me, I'm like, dude, get the fuck away from me. <laughs> There's Mac. This this is weird, this plane, because it doesn't feel fast at all, but it can super cruise. Like it accelerates really badly compared to the other stuff with Afterburner. Oh, yeah. Oh, I expected it to be only mediocre. It's um, I thought it would be like slightly worse than the MF, but um, I changed the decision since the patch came out. I think it's slightly better than the MF actually, because I've seen seen Mirage's out turn Mig twenty ones. I mean, it That's should it back. should easily out turn a Mig twenty one. Just because of the wing um, area. The wing area. It, does it, it, how does it not? The Mirage is like one of the best turn fighter in DCS. Yeah, but it's, uh, it doesn't. Um, I don't know. It doesn't actually sustain a, a turn. Like I think, if you remember correctly, the best turn fighters in DCS is like the F14, the F18. Oh yeah, the, the 14 and, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, the F14 is basically mid 19. <laughs> Oh, I found an F1 oh, yeah. And I, there's a video of a, a MiG-19 shitting on an F-14 player, and, uh, and uh, you know, the wizard uh, jumps out. Yeah, I his name, Jester. <laughs> uh, yeah, the, the F-14 barely manages to win an enemy. Like, the thing is, he was just flying above his own airfield, and MiG-19 just happened to be above his airfield. And so he, even though he had, like, Actually, no, he just left and just glide back. Let's see. CCF is actually fucking useful now. Ooh. That was such a lucky pilot sniper, literally hit him once. The F 104 could have fallen. Way too fucking well for it to be believable as an accurate flight model. At least that's one kill. Like, like, much of the timing is like the, when I, I described it earlier, the, you read the manual, is it says it's uncontrollably like 170, but what is it doing more thunder? It does like 120. Have you seen that video where the guy takes off, does a roll, and then lands on the same strip? It's like a touch and go. Uh, yeah. Do you reckon that'd be doable in War Thunder? Yeah. If you had a runway long enough, obviously. Oh, there's a super I reckon, sonic, I, but I reckon I can do it in the F one F four. Which uh, are, are there any phantoms on our team? Oh, never mind, he's dead. The reason why there's so many French on our team is because L was when I was seeing seeing game earlier, I had too many French people. On enemy team, so I decided to film this time. 
because it's like French, 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 American, American, American versus me. Ooh, that was close pull up. Oh shit, I only have two yesterday for yeah. Remember that. <laughs> what the heck are these? Is that genuinely two Mirage on the sofa here? And me. I thought they were AI for a second. The uh, fuel consumption on the Mirage is so limiting, it's insane. Like, I brought a full load. I've been, I've only I've been in like two turn fires, so my fuel is now 15 minutes. Like, if you use the afterburner, five minutes becomes like one. So you reckon that's fast as after the engine game then? Yeah, like, it feels, like, it definitely yeah. feels like that way, yeah. It holds speed in a straight line so well, but it bleeds it off insanely badly. Rice on DCS, it didn't look too bad. Uh, yeah, blood speed, the alpha, they'd say, they talk about alpha, high alpha being an advantage, you know, this is and quite a lot of stuff. But honestly, it looks like it only does like 18 degrees. <laughs> In DCS. Where the fuck did he go? What the fuck? Oh, there he is. Ooh, there's a saber on me. Where is it? Oh, damn it. All these bitches with fucking missiles and I'm about to fight them for gun kills. The weirdest thing for me is that it doesn't get flaps, which makes landing really strange. Because you have to pull so much alpha to get your speed low enough to touch down that it... Oh, fuck off, really? There was like four fucking mirages and he shoots me, what a fucking cock. I can't remember really doing any help here because I got a damage wing. I got really bad asymmetric lift. Full okay. left stick. Okay. I'm coming. And one not use this. I'm st heading straight for this airfield. That's the one I'm taking off from. Yeah. Yeah. You don't mind if I head your way then? Mm -hmm. Yeah, bring him right at me. What is it? Will be. Because I, the thing is, I tried to scissor with him. And I was, I didn't have any SA fours, and I'm I usually use R60s now. I don't and, see it though. And I use all my gun ammo on the fucking A trucks. Mark up again. Okay, I see. Oh, I'm lagging badly. He, he's he's gone up into clouds. I see. Did I pass you? Yeah, I passed you. What? Yeah, I already passed you. I'm just gonna land in. He's pulled off. He's, yeah. Uh, oh, it's gonna be a fast landing. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh, go around. <laughs> My god, the Mirage bleeds speed horribly. Like, I'm actually putting, I'm making myself a target for this guy. It's so much worse than I thought it would be. Okay, I'm not going to turn around and try to land that same air, but I'm going to keep going to the east, far east one, because it's probably a bit risky from the turn. I mean, twenty is really easy to land, but like, once you take damage, it's a fucking nightmare. <laughs> Sometimes.
The acceleration is pitiful. Like a saber is holding with me and a dive with afterburn wrong. Yeah, I think Fafas is the easiest way to land if you're uh, damaged. <laughs> I'm on the ground safe. All good. I probably need more practice in missile combat. Just, I hardly ever use missiles in combat. I can't use the gun on the MiG to save my fucking life. It's the most horrible thing ever. I think, <laughs> I think like literally 99% of my kills in the, in the MiG are uh, missile kills. For me, <laughs> the, the S24 is not, not really awesome. Oh, right. Because I'm, I'm a bit of a weirdo. You took down that uh, FJ already? No, I'm still fucking trying to catch him. Well, not catch him, but. Can you quit ground strikes and lob my rockets and I'll join you? God, the fucking waggly vert of the gun sight is fucking me so hard. Hang on, is he the guy in the middle? Yeah. If there's a friendly yeah, mega in front. But there is a mega on our team. <laughs> this is probably the first time I've seen a mega on our team. No! Where are you going? The fucking missile went somewhere. Missed. I'm gonna extend now to kill a tank and then I'll come back. He is actually out turning me, like that shouldn't be possible, should it? What the fuck? He's alright. The FJ4B is basically a fucking saber. Yeah, but I'm a fucking Mirage. Mirage's only turn well compared to other Sonics, not to you, Subsonics. Why the fuck did he go? I got his left flap, that should be game, hopefully. Yeah. Man. It's not, I honestly kind of disappointed with it, I thought it'd be much better than this. I know it's stock, but like, the thrust advantage doesn't feel... I don't know what the thrust to weight is at the Mirage, but it feels terrible. I mean, feels you terrible. can't really feel the thrust advantage in the MiG-21 either, so... 